Assalamu alaikum. Today we're going to study the models that help us breathe with the breathing patterns. Let's go and start the lung. So we're going to view the two models right here. We're going to decide which is the right and which is the left lung. So I have my class over here and I'm going to ask them which side lung do they think which one is. All right. Which, which lung do you guys think? This is the very good. So this is the left lung. It's quite obvious because of the cardiac notch and the lingula. All right. And this is the right lung because it has a straight anterior border. Let's talk about the right lung, okay? So we have uh, the different parts of the right lung beginning with the apex, the base that rests on the diaphragm. And then we have how many borders? We have an anterior border. We have this inferior border. And then we have a posterior, faint posterior border, posterior to the lung. We have three surfaces. The one on this side laterally is known as the costal surface, well done. And inside this surface is known as the medial surface. The medial surface is further divided into an anterior mediastinal surface and posterior vertebral surface. This is an entirely the medial surface. It is limited posteriorly by this posterior border which is faint and this medial surface is divided into an anterior mediastinal and a posterior vertebral surface. All right. This is the apex. This is the base where uh, also known as which surface? The diaphragmatic surface because it rests on the diaphragm and this is how it's kept in your body lying in the thorax. Separated from the other lung by what structure? Medi right is separated from left by what structure? Mediastinum. Mediastinum. Well done. Okay. Mediastinum. Okay. So now let's talk about uh, this side. What can we see here? There are two uh, major divisions of the lung done by these two important structures. These are the fissures. Very good. This large one is the oblique fissure and this is the horizontal fissure. There are three lobes which lobes are these? Upper, upper middle, and, and, and lower lobe. What are these colorful areas of the lung? Bronchopulmonary yeah, bronco segments. Yeah, segments, not dermatomes. Bronchopulmonary segments are these colorful uh, structures, and these are how many in number? Ten. Ten. Well done in both lungs. All right. So uh, let's talk about the medial surface. This is important. In the medial surface, we have this anterior mediastinal surface that we need to study. What is this obvious structure? Root of lung. Uh, extending from below the root of lung, what is this? Pulmonary ligament. All right, what is the function of the pulmonary ligament? It provides space for space for space 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 space. Very good. Okay. So now let's talk about the structures of the root of the lung. This is right lung, posterior uh, most, or we can say anterior to posterior. What is the arrangement? V, A, B. So V, A, B, these are the veins. Then we have the artery. Then we have the bronchus. From superior to inferior, we have the B, A, B, V. Or two bronchus. How many bronchus are there in uh, right lung? Two bronchus. The upper one is epiarterial, the lower one is hyperarterial. The blue color is pulmonary artery or vein. It's the artery. In lungs and the heart, the uh, blue is artery and red is vein. All right. And these are the two pulmonary veins. These are the superior pulmonary vein and the inferior pulmonary vein. Constant. You are constant. This is not right. He's not even our badge. So let's talk about the relations of the root of the lung. Anterior, superior and posterior. What are the structure? RAS, ATV, O. These are the mnemonics you need to know. Anterior to the root, RASP. What do you think will lie over here? Right atrium, right atrium of the heart. Well done. Superior vena cava entering the right atrium and the phrenic nerve. Well done. So this model I have right here will show us the phrenic nerve. See, this is going anteriorly. So this is the phrenic nerve and you can even see it's going towards the diaphragm and posteriorly, this is the vagus nerve. Anteriorly, you can see anything that goes anteriorly, this is the phrenic nerve. You can see it's going to the diaphragm and posteriorly, any nerve you see is going to be the vagus nerve. Where is the vagus nerve? This one right here. All right. Posterior is the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is going to run in superior relation to the root, whereas the phrenic nerve is going to run anterior relation to the root. Remember that. All right. Let's go to superior to the root. What are the structures? This, this will be the trachea. Arch of A is zygous vein, T for trachea, and V is for the vagus nerve. So ATV. And posteriorly will be one structure known as O. O is the esophagus. All right. So these are what are going to show up in your OSPI. Okay. Right atrium. Beneath agar lag jai na to inferior vena keva ka hai. Thik hai? Upar lag jai, superior vena keva. If arch, then a zygous vein. Upar yun a jai, to trachea. Iddar a jai, apex of the lung. Okay. If uh, they'll put it on the fissure, this is the oblique fissure. If they put it over here, it's the horizontal fissure. They might put it on the bronchopulmonary segment. So here, lateral bronchopulmonary segment or the middle lobe. Say the complete phrase. Okay. So let's talk about the left lung. So anterior border of the left lung is relatively different to the right lung. And what is the difference? Cardiac, Cardiac notch. Anterior border, 
about at the level of fourth costal cartilage it turns laterally and this cardiac notch is formed what is the cardiac notch anterior border is notched due to the heart this is why the anterior border shows the cardiac notch and lying just below the cardiac notch this tongue like projection is the lingula all right now going uh, towards the costal surface we see just one fissure this is oblique fissure all right oblique fissure is going to divide your uh, left lung into how many lobes upper and lower and what represents the middle lobe in the left lung well done well done theek hai my star student so lingula represents the middle lobe but like nobody cares about the middle lobe and coming to the medial surface the first impression usually the pin is placed over here what is this super important inguinal so important what no 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 impression If, oh, impression of cardiac superficial cardiac no you were so cardiac impression do not forget is pe aata hai ya is descending thoracic aorta pe aayega so anyway if the pin is placed over here what are you going to write you're going to talk about the impressions if medial surface the pins are placed you have to talk about the impressions if the pins are placed outside then you talk about the bronchopulmonary segments or lobes or whatever the fissures so if it is placed over here a pin what do you call it the cardiac, cardiac impression for the left ventricle of the heart good and then if you have it uh, above this is the ascending aorta and then we have the arch of aorta and then we have this very prominent impression called descending thoracic aorta and usually pins are placed over here all right or here or here above this will be thoracic duct and apart from that phrenic nerve anteriorly again and uh, vagus nerve superior to the root once again let's talk about the structures of the root what are what can you see just one bronchus this is the principal bronchus this pulmonary artery, artery. well done in superior inferior pulmonary veins and where then you ask where is the vertebral surface of the medial surface it's right behind this this guy right here and this is that faint posterior border so do not confuse the posterior border with this this is the demarcation that divides your medial surface into the mediastinal and vertebral all right don't make that mistake so this is not the posterior border and this is the descending thoracic aorta impression this is the apex of the lung fissure uh, cardiac notch sorry cardiac notch lingula and and there you have it that is the important osp of the lungs really hope you understood thank you so much for watching